Hello everybody and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's just hop straight into it, okay? So y'all, you got somebody here that can't live without you, all right? And this is somebody here that got many regrets here. This is somebody that could have ended a marriage or some type of relationship with a karmic person, okay? Or they ended something with a karmic person, okay? Whether this was a relationship or whether this was some type of friendship, it could have even been with family for some of y'all. Because not all karmics are somebody that they was actually with. But for some of y'all, your person was married and he going through a divorce or he was in a relationship and he's he has ended that here. <clears throat> okay? But this person was very disappointed in whatever it is that they chose here. For some of y'all, it was a friend, a karmic friend that they chose over you. Okay? Because like I said, not all of y'all person was actually in a relationship with somebody. Some of y'all, it was their family and a, or a friendship. And they were very karmic. And they're leaving them behind here. Okay? But this person got so many regrets on how he was moving here with you here. All right? This person actually took a lot of losses, y'all. Okay? He did. But he got a whole lot of regrets. All right. We got Ace of Pentacles. So whatever it is that he was going through, whatever it is that he lost, whatever setbacks that he had, he's actually getting it on back together. Ace of Pentacles here. Okay. So he's definitely made some type of improvement here. All right. So he got some type of improvement here. Okay. On his wealth, he could be exercising. Because you got good time for diet and exercise. So he could be take, going on a diet or exercising, working on his body here, okay? But definitely, he has got back whatever it is that he lost here, okay? So in the past, this man took a whole lot of losses. He had a whole lot of setbacks because he chose a karmic over you here, okay? <clears throat> could have been a queen of swords. All right, this is somebody here that betrayed this person. This is somebody that wasn't real at all. Yeah, this was one of the options or somebody that was, you know, in his life that was manipulating him or something here, okay? Yeah. It's going to be something changing quickly with this eight of wands here. All right. I feel like this person here right now, he's just steady cutting people off. But it's specifically a queen of swords in reverse here. This is somebody here that definitely betrayed him. This is somebody that act like they, yeah, three of pentacles. This could have even, child, this could have been somebody that he worked with. Okay, a business partner, that's a, a woman. Or, uh, <clears throat> like I said, this was a friend. For some of y'all, it was a friend. Or if this was a marriage, like he had, maybe he had somebody and uh, they had like a business or something like in their name and all that kind of stuff. And this person didn't want to like get a divorce or want him to leave or threaten to take something if he leave. I don't know. It's something like that, y'all. Okay. If this person was married or with somebody. But this is somebody that come off like they perfect, like everything good. Like when they first met, they could have been like. Oh, I see that your credit ain't so good. So I'm going to get this. Uh, I get it in my name. I get the car and do this and that. And then once they st once this person starts showing their true colors and whatever, this person, you know, was ready to leave. But then when this person got ready to leave, they like, well, remember, I got this in my name. This is like it's mine because it's in my name. And if you leave, I'm going to take everything you got. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? If this is a business relationship or something like that, or a friendship or something like that, that this uh, that this person had, well, you're going to get fired. Like, this person could be threatening to fire them all the time or demote them or something like that because they don't want to do what they want them to do. This is somebody that uses their authority to hurt this person or something or belittle them or make them feel small. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do what I say, I'm going to fire you. If you don't do what I say... 
uh, like I said, you ain't going to have this position. You're going to be a regular employee, especially if your person is like a manager or something like that. It's like somebody over this person is trying to like make them small or something. If this is a work situation, a friendship, there's somebody that just could have been using this person. Okay. Just some, and this was somebody that was very envious, very jealous. Maybe they didn't want nobody else to be around this person. They they act like they they was a friend and whatever, but they really secretly probably wanted to be with this person or something. But this was not a true friend here. And this person really just told this person what they want to hear here. They was a liar. Like, you cannot trust this person right here. And this person was definitely a manipulator. Okay? Definitely. All right? Your person is psychic, though. Your person is psychic and your person is very intuitive. But I feel like it was so much done on your person crown that he was manipulated like he wasn't seeing the truth clearly for a while here okay but it was a tower here it's a tower moment because whatever this queen of swords in reverse was doing like trying to keep yeah it says you feel trapped and think there is no way out here somebody was trying to keep your person stuck and feeling trapped like they couldn't get out of something and it got forced it to live in by others rules here See, it was people trying to, oh, this person was trying to control this person right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but your person laid this to rest here. Okay, four swords. So it's like with this two of ones, the grass was not greener on the other side here. All right, and your person here is freeing themselves here. Okay, yeah, this person, this person is wanting to build with you. This person is realizing like, Two people is better than one. I don't feel like this person coming in to like use you or anything, but I feel like this person is realizing like they should have chose you in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But this person, you know, it just could have been a lesson for this person. This person chose karma, a karmic lover or, you know, karmic people over you and whatever. Now this person want to take a different path because the grass was not greener on the other side of her. And this person want to come in and give you some type of offer here okay yeah love this person want to give you child it was so many people competing for this person okay it was p people doing underhanded things here to get what they want if this was the if this was a work situation and your person was at work these were people that was doing underhanded things to like get your person fired or um uh, challenge his authority or something like that y'all okay so your person could have been having a lot of problems at work or or at, or on a business or something like that here okay yeah <clears throat> but it's like whatever whatever it is he was going through it's the, the ace of pentacles came out so that's that and me know that whatever burdens that he had or whoever this was that uh whoever this was that was trying to control or manipulate this man here or whatever like stuff is going good so like it whatever kind of tactic she was using it, it ain't working and yeah, okay because god still blessed this person here okay but god was like look you know what you gotta walk away your person could have been crying or he was just very depressed here at one point because this situation was bothering him. If he was married, he was in a karmic marriage. Like he was not happy at all. And he could have got with this person because of money, how things look. And he was miserable. This person could have even been abusive towards him, like emotionally or mentally. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes when people feel like you need them, they'll do you any kind of way. If it weren't for if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have had you wouldn't have this. I got this in my name. This is mine. Like I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like this is how this woman was talking to this man here. Okay, if this was at work, this was somebody here that like especially if this woman hit on this man and he didn't want her like that or he didn't want to deal with her like that no more. You know, he could have, they, he, she could have started bullying this man or something like that. Like, you need to have this done. Or you need to do that. You need to do this or you need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, start trying to pick on him to make him quit or, you know, or try to get him to react so 
he could get fired or something like that. You know what I'm saying? If this family or something like that, this person is mad because they can't use him no more. You know what I'm saying? They can't use him no more at all. But this person cannot live without you, baby. Okay? And look, you're the queen of pentacles. You're the queen of pentacles here. So it's like this person chose these karmic people. You know what I'm saying? Then they had a whole lot of secrets. These people that he chose you chose over you had a whole lot of secrets, y'all. Okay? And I'm telling you, it took a whole lot of strength right here for him to leave these people alone. Because these are people... That could have been around for a while. You know what I'm saying? He thought that that they that, that loved him like that. But, but they didn't. He done went through some type of spiritual lesson. Okay? Yeah. I feel like your person was had a fear of the unknown. That's why your person couldn't have this new beginning. Because he was comfortable where he was here. He was scared of not knowing how things were going to turn out. He was scared of the unknown. Well, not no more. This person has went through a, 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 a death and rebirth here. Okay? He has definitely grown spiritually here. He's definitely went through some type of spiritual lesson here. And he's changed here. Yeah, temperance. He and your person is in this temperance energy here. All right? He definitely want to reconcile, but he definitely has learned how to love himself and value himself. Put himself first and create boundaries here. He want to reconcile here with you. All right. Yeah. I feel like this man was trying to hide burdens from you. He was dealing with a lot. And I feel like he could see you in this queen of pentacles energy. And it's like he didn't want to like tell you that he was struggling because he see you doing so good. And he didn't want to come in like half stepping or something like that. Yeah, but he was going through something financially. He just didn't want to admit it or tell you that he was. He took a lot of losses because of the path that he chose. So he could have hid that from you. But maybe y'all intuitively knew he was going through something. But something has definitely turned around for him in a good way. Okay. talking to your person like this person could have already reached out to you okay and like y'all could already be like talking a little bit or whatever or working on a reconciliation or some of y'all this person is getting ready to communicate with you and y'all gonna be working on something because he definitely want to give you this offer here. Okay, Knight of Cups here. This man here is very romantic. He, he could want to come in and give you some type of romantic offer. Like a beautiful date. Okay, yeah, inviting you somewhere. Inviting you out somewhere really nice. Like a real beautiful date or something like that here. But this person is, it's like, this could be somebody that was maybe logical in the past here, okay, or uh, analytical, or this is somebody that did not make decisions from his heart, okay. It was like uh, <laughs> he made all his decisions was mental, you know what I'm saying, like mind. It was a mind over heart decision instead of a heart over mind decision. Now he's making decisions with his heart here, okay. In the past, maybe this person didn't care what he said or how he said things. Now this man thinks before he speaks here, okay? He's humble. This man, you know, he care about people's feelings, all right? But this person is also smart. So this is somebody that can teach you things here, all right? I feel like you all could be somebody here that loves someone that's very intelligent here, like a sapiosexual or something like that. Okay, and this is definitely a man that you can learn from because he is a leader. He is a boss here. All right. But I feel like he just had to gain control over his own life personally outside of work here. Okay. But yeah, definitely something is changing here for the good. 
Yeah, this could be a soulmate. For some of you all, this is a twin flame. And some of you all, it's a high-level soulmate here. Okay? For some of y'all, this person, parents, was trying to control. Because it says, you must leave your parents here. Okay? In order for a relationship to work, you must leave your parents. So, for some of y'all, uh, the karmic in this person's life was, was his parents, his mother or father. They were controlling this person with the eight of swords here. Okay? And, yeah, and it was this person that was doing... Um, underhanded methods to keep this person stuck and bound here all right yeah but whoever this mother or father is or this family is could be feeling defeated or whoever the karmic is in this masculine's life for your story okay they're feeling defeated here okay for some of them they did something illegal okay because i'm seeing where if somebody got a friend in a justice system they could have had somebody pull up your record, your criminal record, to see what it, what it, what all you have done in your life, like far as criminal wise, or if if they know somebody that work at a hospital that they that maybe you could attend. They could have been trying to even pull up stuff on you to see, like health problems and like they did something illegal and so, yeah, because it's showing where possible illegal and immoral conduct. And whatever this is could bring them public shame or dishonor. So for some of y'all, these people really was looking you up illegally here. Okay. And it could be found out and they could be going to jail. All right. That's for some of y'all. Now y'all, but you will know if that part is for you. But yeah, you all are meant to have this ten of cups together here. Okay. And it says entering a period of peace and contentment. So you all are definitely getting ready to start a beautiful connection with this person if that's what you want if you want this person here all right some of you all could be purchasing a home with this person here but both of you all are very successful here y'all have a great amount of success that you all have gotten like separately here all right but this relationship is going to have a whole lot of abundance you know not just the wealth not just the money but joy and happiness here all right yeah you all are gonna both come into like uh, both of you all are going to both like come into like contact like with, with your true soul tribe, like true friends, friends that love y'all, that support y'all, that speak life into y'all, that pray for y'all, that that's for this connection here. All right. I feel like y'all already have removed like karmic people or toxic people from your life here. Yeah. That was trying to keep y'all stuck here. All right. Yeah. Ace of uh, cups here. All right, Empress, you're about to have this loving family here. So if this is something that you've been manifesting, like this is what you're getting ready to get. It says the beginning of a great love. It says follow your heart and your instincts here. All right, so follow your heart. If you feel like, you know, you should reconcile with this person, go ahead and, and, and go for it. But it is saying you can let your guard down and open your heart. Okay, and this is your soulmate. for So like, so like I said, for some of y'all, this is a higher level soulmate. Okay, and it, it could be a twin flame for y'all, but I'm getting this could be a high level soulmate here that's coming um, into your life here. All right, and you can let your 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 guard down with this person here. Okay, but I definitely feel like you had somebody being sneaky that did not want this to come together, and they was doing things to try to stop it, stop you from getting love or something like this, Chad. Baby, this person can't be without you. Give me someone on this person that can't. This person could be watching you. Page of Swords. This person is watching you. They're missing you. They could be watching you work. Three of Pentacles here. All right. Somebody here could have been trying to hold on to this person for money, like I said. Okay. It could be fights and arguments over money and material things. Or this was what was going on in the past with this masculine. He had to cut these people off. Okay. Yeah, it was somebody that was around this person that was all about money. But they could come out like a queen of pentacles. But they really a queen of pentacles in reverse. This is somebody here that very moody. This is somebody that's very materialistic here. 
you cannot trust this person here. Okay, this is somebody that gives when something is gained here. All right, so and this person is narrow minded and bigoted. All right, this is this, and your person cut this person off. All right, but this divine count, this divine um, mask on right here is missing you. All right, this person is definitely reminiscing on the times you shared. Yeah, this person feel like it's happiness with you. He look at you as this queen of cups here. All right, you're somebody here that he looks at as a wife. Okay, if you have kids, he look at you as a great mother. He feels like you have an awesome personality. You're somebody that's very nurturing here. All right. I feel like you came into this person's life and you have impacted this person's life in a major way. You have had more of an impact on this person than people that has been in his life for years. Okay. You're very attractive. You're somebody that's romantic. You're somebody that's emotional. You're somebody that's loyal. You're honest. Okay. You're the, you're the queen of pentacles. So you're a boss. You're somebody that, that handles money well, that handles the business well, or your career, or whatever this is. And it's like your wish fulfillment for this person. All right. You're very successful here. You're very confident. You got a high self esteem. It's like, dang, what this woman don't got. Like, this woman got everything. Like, that's how this man look at you. Like, you got everything here, okay, that he could have, he could ever want in a woman. You know what I'm saying? And, like, he in love. But he also loved the way that you love yourself. It makes you even more attractive. Okay? But, yeah, um, this person love you. All right. And this person sees the sun with you. All right. A lot of happiness here. All right. He in love with you, but he feel like he'll be happy in a relationship with you and he missing you and he can't live without you. Okay. He just can't. Let's get some of these here. Oh, he missing you. Didn't I just say the six of cups came out? It says your eyes, your smile, your voice, your scent, your touch. I am missing everything. Remember how we have connected physically over our lifetimes together so you can have a past life with this person. It's something about your smile. Your person love. It's like your, you have the smile that lights up a room. All right, your voice. It could, you can have a very soft voice, no matter if it's high pitched or deep. It, it could be very soft or something like that. Like your person could love. I don't know. It's like very angelic or something. I don't know, but your person love your voice here. Your scent. I don't feel like you. Even if you all do wear like perfume or something like that, I feel like this person loves your natural scent, especially if you have natural hair. Or something like that. And, and like you wash your hair with the, with the coconut stuff or something like that. He could love like the smell of your hair. Like whatever you put in your hair or something. It's like when this person go to hug you or something. He could love the smell of your hair. It's something about your hair. Your smile. He love your scent. Like even when you all have like a, like intimacy with each other. Like it's something about your scent down there that he love. Okay. Like it's natural. Like you ain't got to put too much on it. Okay, you no, nothing, just water and, and, and the soap that you use, and, and it smells good and it tastes good to this person, too. Is what I'm getting like, he's missing that. He miss tasting you, he miss smelling you, he miss cuddling with you, like, he missing all of that here. Your touch, okay, like skin to skin. He love like skin to skin here, like cuddling, okay, he could miss that with you here. All right, but you all definitely have been together before, okay, in other lifetimes, and you all are definitely meant to be together in this lifetime. I just feel like you all have a whole lot of, you all had a lot of spiritual, like, welfare, like, warfare, okay, like, and people, like, just didn't want to see y'all together. It could, it could definitely be where people in, in a past life here didn't want y'all together, and they carry over 
in this lifetime as this person's family or as this person's friend or this karmic uh, co-worker or, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they were still trying to keep y'all apart or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm also getting in the past life. One of these karmic people tried to take y'all out, like to take y'all out to get to like break y'all relationship up. Like, I feel like y'all was married in a past life. But one of these karmics was trying to take you or your person out to like cause y'all pain and grief or something. And like these people in this lifetime could have literally came back as a family member or a friend and they was trying to do the same thing. But it's like it, it's like it's not happening, like it's not working or something like that, because y'all are still going to be together in this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Um but yeah, it says, my love for you is boundless and unconditional. I miss you being next to me. Wherever I go, I search for you everywhere. So it's like no matter how far y'all were away from from each other, like how long y'all was apart from each other, like this person like thinks about you every day. They thought about you every day. They think about you every day. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere they go is something or someone that reminds them of you. So it's like... They can't get away from you. You know what I'm saying? This person is missing you so much. Like, and they just can't, they can't be away from you, you know, too much longer. Like this person feel like he really wouldn't be able to live without you. Like, it's like he got to have you in his life somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like in some way, like he couldn't go without speaking to you, talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Like having you in his life, like he wouldn't, like his life will be incomplete, like for real. Okay, I'm hearing that song. Without you, girl, my life isn't complete. Yeah, this person feel like without you, like, his life would be incomplete. I definitely feel like there's a lot of passion between y'all. Okay, which is why I said this person love your scent and your taste. Okay, but this person won't love here. It says, I want to make love to you. This I did not tell you this person. I'll make love to you like you want me to, and I'll hold you tight, baby. All through the night, I'll make love to you. This person want to make love to you, he's missing you. Okay, it says, I want to make love to you, which you have never experienced before. Ooh! Baby, this person said like you have never experienced before. So if you all have had an encounter before, baby, he like you ain't seen nothing. They want nothing com compared to what I, I want to give you and what I'm finna give you. Ooh, he finna put it down. You're in. Uh, 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 like the way I want it. Play your cards right. Maybe we can fall in love. Ah! If you put it down, hey, this person gonna put it down, 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 down. This person gonna put it down on you, baby. He said, baby, like you ain't never experienced before. You hear me? Woo, honey. You just don't know. <laughs> baby, you just don't know. This person finna knock, knock it to loose. Knock the webs off that joint. You hear me? Because y'all can have some little spider webs. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's Aquafina, but it's some webs on that joint. You know what I'm saying? He finna knock it off. You hear me? And turn that thing up. I'm just telling you. I, it's in the cards. All right. All right. Okay. This y'all energy, child. Your pro I'm telling you what your person want to do. What he thinking about. Okay. He want love, but he want to make love too. All right. It's a lot of passion between y'all right now. And he fired up, he crunk up, and he wanted. Okay, I'm just, I, I'm just telling. It says, I just want us to know each other like no one else before us has ever known. This person want to know you inside and out, up and down, side and side, round and brown. He want to know everything about you, anything and everything about you, baby. Okay every single thing and he wants you to know every single thing about him here okay inside and out he want to make love to you like ain't nobody else ever made love to you before he want to give you a new experience okay i heard this i said like that new experience 
I said it like some people back in the day, like in the 1800s or something like that. The people with the white hair with the little curl looking things or whatever, like Beethoven and all that times. Experience. That's why I said y'all got a past life together. Y'all been together like multiple lifetimes, y'all. I'm t- somebody could have even been a musician or something in a like in, in a past life or something. Some with music. Somebody either played music, they danced, or somebody used music as a healing tool or something. Something about some music, uh, the piano or something. I don't know, but baby. It says your touch and your voice really healed me. So y'all could be a healer. Okay, your hands are healing. Y'all could be a Reiki healer. Okay, and if you ain't a Reiki healer, you a healer. Even if you ain't getting paid for it. Even you don't you ain't never did Reiki before. Your hands are healing. So maybe y'all need to look into that. Okay, because this person said your touch and your voice really healed me. So some of y'all could sing. Some of you all can sing. And it's very healing. Like he loved to hear your voice. He loved to hear you sing. Not just you talking, but he loved to hear you sing, y'all. Some of y'all can sing. Even if you don't sing online, like maybe you could you have sung to this person or something. And baby, he loved your voice. It's very angelic and healing or something. And he loved your torch your I said torch. What the hell? Torch fire. Fire, okay. Love them and leave them. That's what I used to do. Use and abuse them. Confirmation. Till I lay eyes on you. It was pain before. Pleasure. Woo! That was my claim to fame. With every measure. Okay. Baby, he said he used to use and abuse them. Okay. Until he laid eyes on you. You hear me? So you changed this person. You know what I'm saying? You healed this person. It's your voice. It's something about your voice, y'all. Okay. He loved it. He loves it and he miss you. This man just ready to love on you, baby. Okay, look at that, look at that spark. Didn't I say torch? Somebody look at that spark. It says we have the spark between us, which is undeniable and visible to everyone. Everybody can see y'all love each other. It ain't no secret. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Everybody can see it. It's undeniable. It's undeniable. People can see it. They see the love y'all have for each other. Y'all ain't even got to say it. You can see it. You can see it. People see it. They're witnessing it. Yeah. It says, you are the miracle that dropped into my life and lit me from within. You set this man so long fire. You set it on fire, collector. You set it on fire. You set this man's soul on fire. You hear me? You give this man the type of love that he ain't never had before. You lit him up from the inside. You hear me? Now you got this man glowing and shit on the outside. Got him glowing, baby. You hear me? Skin glowing. You hear me? Hair glowing. Everything glowing. Everything glowing. Sure. And everybody see it. They know you changed this man's life. They know it. They know it is because of you and ain't nobody else. Not the family, not the co-worker, not whoever the comic was. They didn't do it. You did it. It says, look up at the stars tonight and know that I am under the same sky thinking about you. So right now as I'm recording this video... Your person is thinking about you right now. Okay. Right now, this person is thinking about you. Look up at, so tonight, go outside and look up at the sky, look up at the stars. Okay. 
It says, I am under the same sky thinking about you. So this was like written in the stars, y'all. Some of you, your person could love stars. You can love stars. But this is coming from your person. So your person could love looking up at the sky. It's something about the sky and the sun and the stars. But he loves stars. I feel like he wants y'all to sit and watch the stars or something like that. Or like the sunset. Yeah. It says we are destined to be together for many lifetimes. I did not tell y'all y'all was destined to be together. Didn't I tell y'all I, I end up getting Beethoven? Y'all was together back then, child. What's that music? That child, y'all telling you, you was back in them days, child. Y'all was together then. I wish I could see how y'all look back then. Have you ever wondered how you and your person looked in a past life? <laughs> like, have you ever literally just wondered that? Like, how did you and your person look in a past life? Like, what y'all look like? Or like, have you ever looked and see like what you and your person actually did in a past life for work? How did y'all live and things like that? Like, have y'all ever like wonder or ever got a reading on that? Like y'all past life, like features and stuff like stuff like that. Some of y'all need to do that. Some of y'all need to see like what y'all did for work. You know what I'm saying? Cause some things that y'all did carry over in this lifetime here, like certain gifts, certain talents and things like that. Okay. Even karmic folks spotted you. I, you, you know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, y'all have been together many lifetimes and y'all are going to be together in this lifetime here. Okay. It says, we don't need to rush this love. Our love is eternal. So you ain't got to rush nothing, baby. I, I, you can take it slow. Okay. Take it slow. Go with the flow. Okay, just let it flow. Like Tony Braxton said, let it flow, let it flow. Just let it flow, baby. You ain't got to rush nothing because this person ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Where y'all going, child? Y'all meant to be together. I, child, I don't care if it's in 2030 when y'all get together. It's meant to be together. I don't care if y'all was even with other people. It wasn't, it, those people was just lessons. It's meant for y'all to be together. Like I said, I don't care if it's in 2030. We in what, 2024? Baby, I don't care if y'all be together then. When it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You hear me? Shoot. Y'all love is eternal. And y'all are meant to be together. Now, I think I'm going to leave it at that. That's all I have, Collect. I think I'm going to leave it right there. Oh, let's see. I want to, let's see. Let me get a time and let's see if it's meant to get a time. All right, Angel Spirit, guys, Ancestors of Mine, of the highest, highest, highest. Power. Give me a time here on this. <laughs> Yeah, this person want to go on a cruise and some type of romantic getaway. So be expecting this person to invite you on some type of vacation. Confirmation, y'all. I know what the heck I be talking about. Y'all better stop playing with me like I don't know what I be talking about. Your person going to be inviting you on some type of vacation. A cruise on a boat, some water. Or something. All right, Spirit said, don't rush it. Okay, say it's going to come sooner than you expect. Okay, it just says, don't force things and don't rush it. Okay, so don't force it. Don't rush it. And like I said, go with the flow. See my cards, it just confirmed what I said. I said, go with the flow like Tony Braxton. And that's the card that came out. 
ain't lying to you. I ain't lying to you. Look what it say. Don't force things and stop rushing things here because it's going to happen. I'm telling you. And it says sooner than you think. All right. So just let everything happen organically. Do not rush nothing. Go with the flow. You know, so if it start off with y'all just being friends, cool. Go with that. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Everything happened the way it's supposed to happen and the timing and everything. Everything playing out like it's supposed to. Everything on track. Everything happening the way it's supposed to happen. Just go with the flow. Okay? Don't rush nothing. Be cool. It's, this love is eternal. He ain't going nowhere. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Y'all gonna be together. Okay? But that is all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. If you have not already, go subscribe to my other channel, Unseen Secrets. It's a mixture of different things here, okay? Sometimes Twin Flame, Soulmate stuff come out, but it's a little mixture of different things, though. But God love you, and I do too. Bye, y'all.